Peace to the Universal Family. Assalamu alaikum to my Muslim brothers and sisters. My name is Brother Waqil Allah. And I must reiterate, as my great comrades have thus far, the great respect and admiration that we have for Black and Nobel. It's one of the main centers here in Philadelphia, of course, of delivering the information of our people to our community. And I am what you would consider perhaps a historian or an author. I've written several books as it relates to the history of Islam in North America as it pertains to our people, black people. And as you know, brothers and sisters, history is a weapon. It can be a weapon of mass dis destruction that can murder and almost annihilate an entire people, or it could be a weapon of mass enlightenment and a cultural reformation in which it's our duty as civilized people to deliver the history of our own. It's time that we write our own story and stop letting others dictate to us who and what we are are supposed to be. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad, one of the greatest teachers we've ever seen here in North America spoke on history. He said history is all of our studies. It is the most attractive and the best qualified to reward our research as it develops the springs and the motives of human actions. It displays the consequences of the circumstances that operate most powerfully on the destiny of human beings. In order for us to get our history right as a people, we have to genuinely, as our brothers express here today, have a genuine love for our people. Because within our people is our own story. As the Honorable Elijah Muhammad manifested, if you know what happened yesterday, you should be able to manifest what you want to do today as well as provide a future for our families. So it was in that nature that I've been inspired to chronicle the history of our people in North America, in particular as it relates to Islam from the black man in America. The city of Philadelphia is one of the most Islamicized cities in the country. In particular, from an African, quote unquote, American perspective, well, if you look at the city of Philadelphia, even with the Quran and with the population of Muslims that we have, we are experiencing a grave recession in the mind of the spirits of our people, which are allowing us to commit different crimes of humanity against one another. Now, you may say, as Brother Dr. Wesley Muhammad was speaking on, the Kufi smacking that our people are talking about out there. Well, we smack our own Kufis off a lot of times, where we deny the roots of our history. So whenever you see Muslims in Philadelphia, we should understand where that started. And that's what this cultural renaissance is about. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad, in his history, he was on the run from a group of people from 1935 to 1942. And he was a wanted man by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. This is documented in the files, the Freedom of Information Act with the FBI. When the FBI come to get him in DC, he was on a train coming to the city of Philadelphia. Now, what was he coming to the city of Philadelphia for? He was already in the city dropping seeds, planting seeds of Islam and the love for our people. Because as brothers also said, we speak the knowledge of self. And we say when you have a knowledge of self, you will fall all in love with yourself. Because this is what this is all about. We just don't speak history to regurgitate some facts that are not relative and that are stale. But this is showing the potential, especially that our children can see, that we have as a people that we once claimed. So I got to give our hats off to Black and Nobel for being a library of information. Because when it comes to our people, like we say, there's an African mantra that when an elder dies in our community, it is the same as a library burning down to the ground. 
So we have to search out our elders. Now we are here, the Allah team and the lions out the cave. This is a brotherhood. We are all our brothers and our love and respect for one another make us brothers. But we keep each other honest. We keep each other right as we go out into the battlefield. And the reason why we are on the battlefield, the bottom line is the resurrection and the reformation of our people. That is what we're here for. That is the primary purpose. Now, brother mentioned that I was somewhat of a person that had relationships. And this is true because based on the history, I know that each and every one of us, as Dr. Wesley communicated, and brother Philip communicated, and brother Mikiel communicated, whether it's the Moore science, whether it's our conscious community, whether it's the Black Panthers, whether it's the Nation of Islam, whether it's the 5% Nation, whether it is the Black Church, the Black Revolutionary Church, we know that each one of us brings something to the table. We will never elevate as a people if we do not respect one another and neglect each other. So we are here today to make a difference because we know what happened yesterday, but what are we going to do today? So we have gotten together to make an outreach. We just went to the beautiful Mass Jidala to reach out to our brothers and sisters over there. As you know, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan was just here a couple of months ago to help an institution such as Mass Jidala raise funds because that's what we need. We need our own institutions where somebody cannot dictate to you what you can do or what you can teach if they are paying you or paying the piper, so to speak. So this is our stance, and this is our sacrifice. These brothers have said much, so I don't want to take too much of your time, but we here, we have books here today. We are a black-owned publishing company. So as we say, locked and loaded, but you don't see none of us up here brandishing a gun. Because we don't believe in the brandishing of guns. We don't come to our people with guns. Because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, to win this revolution, we won't need a gun. As Brother Mikiel said, our unity would be as powerful as a hydrogen bomb. But the weapon that we have is our mind. So we come together, we pull our resources, we collectively come together, we pull our scholarship and our pennies and dimes, and we go out and we create these books for our people not for no money, not for no financial gain, but for the love of our people to understand that if we know our history, if we know what happened yesterday, we will be able to walk into a very bright future today, brothers and sisters. And that's the message that I would like to communicate today as a result of this cultural renaissance and revolution. With that, I say peace. peace. Ordinary sub stop, Philadelphia PA. Shots so loud, who would think it was a club spot? African Americans. Although we all over the web, we the hood librarians. We ship the prisons too. We reach out and deliver to those that's bitten to, but it's more than a bookstore. You wonder, we got it. Make states, DVDs, and culture products. Black and Nobel got our hands in a lot of prizes. We welcome on to come build the energy, it's positive. And remember, other teams is awake and conscious. Come through and experience. This place of knowledge They say they put it in a book If they wanna hide it from us But we got them books So you can buy it from us Something to read While you on a train Or riding the bus Get your read on Food for thought Get your ego on Black and Nobel I'm a humble Black and Nobel